we should speak about uh, cooperation with men because we do not we cannot consider that it's a women issue only it's an issue uh, to which all should be committed uh, especially Lebanese men and Arab men yes but the problem is how can we raise the awareness uh, of men in order to feel uh, to which extent uh, this topic is important I think that they already took their uh, uh, they already took their decision and made up their minds uh, they are not interested simply so let's uh, hear uh, three questions uh, from the audience please very quickly we ask the speaker to wait for the mobile mic, please, in order to be able to translate. Thank you. You spoke about this masculine and patriarchal society. So we have the same boss. Uh, the man uh, is a child, in fact. Uh, this child who is not being able to overcome the figure of his father, even in the political arena. It's uh, more a command rather than a question. For the Arab region now, the uh, fight uh, managed by women uh, has been targeted uh, by the use uh, of uh, political concepts in Lebanon, in Egypt, in Tunisia, how were women living 40 years ago? Now, the environment in which women are living is more difficult and women are considered a simple image. Allow me to say that in Egypt, in the context of the Islamic regime, women have suffered from the violation of their dignity with religious justifications. This is why we have to focus on our interest, our interest to face these destructive ideas. You have spoke about several uh, causes uh, uh, that uh, prevent the uh, development of women. Uh, I come from Yemen and the traditions are the main challenge uh, faced by women and uh, impeding their ability to uh, fill uh, positions on the political arena. Uh, we have uh, some uh, women uh, ministers as much as possible, but uh, let me say that we are witnessing a true opposition and the political struggle in Yemen. So how can the Mayfid Shidiak Foundation support us as women who injured uh, very difficult situations, unlike what happened uh, in uh, Egypt, uh, in Tunisia, and uh, in Lebanon. How can you support us as Yemeni women in order for us uh, to follow your example? Thank you. Leah, mic, please. Allow me, please, to moderate the questions. We will go back to you, ma'am. Start without a mic until the mic is available. I have a question uh, related to Lebanon, uh, to politics in Lebanon. I am aware of the difficulties that women are facing, uh, especially when it comes to the uh, personal law or the personal status law. But uh, my question is, is it a problem of men opposed to women, or is it a problem of uh, this uh, uh, system uh, or this uh, uh, political system based on uh, passing uh, power uh, to one's uh, kids? Please. 
I have a different type of questions. Uh, these efforts uh, that uh, we are doing, uh, shouldn't we uh, use them for uh, establishing uh, a secular state uh, that would be able uh, to lead at the end of the day to human rights, uh, women rights, and children rights? I have a question uh, related to a national policy. Uh, Excellency, you spoke about a national policy in order uh, to be able to promote the role of all agencies. Uh, what is the starting point of such a policy? Don't give him the mic. I think that no one uh, wants uh, to uh, work uh, on negatively impacting the role of women, but I think that women should impose themselves and shouldn't ask for their rights from men. When uh, women are capable, uh, I think that Mrs. Rayal Hassan uh, was not nominated the minister because she is the daughter of X, but because she could impose herself. Uh, and we have several other examples uh, of such uh, participations. Mrs. Naila has the energy of more than half of the uh, parliament, uh, not only because she is the wife uh, of um, um, a president, and the same applies to my Shadiak. Uh, uh, regarding your interve intervention, uh, Mrs. Raya, regarding uh, uh, what you said about uh, complementing your dress, uh, I think that uh, women should uh, remain uh, women. Uh, if you are born beautiful and you know how to uh, get dressed, uh, what's the problem if the, a man or a president says uh, you are wearing a nice dress? Please uh, remain uh, women remain a beautiful persons uh, women should remain women and should not become men in order to preserve their rights i have um, a last comment unfortunately the role of women in the arab countries is similar to the role of christians sometimes they want quotas and sometimes uh, they uh, decide uh, or they sometimes uh, uh, support um, fanatic uh, uh, regimes um, in order to preserve their rights, uh, but for God's sake, don't be frightened. You represent half of the society. Mohammed Laasi. I have always worked uh, on advocating uh, women uh, issues and women causes, uh, but uh, I have noticed that women work on preserving their rights, uh, but uh, when it comes to elections, especially parliamentary elections, uh, we notice uh, that uh, women are considered as the tool in order to exert pressure uh, uh, for the benefit of men. We notice that we have women and we have uh, women leaders uh, who are are seriously working in order to help men be elected in the context of political parties and big movements. In 2009, and Mr. President is aware of that, I was one of the media coordinators of a major electoral campaign in the context of which women was representing 80% of the human resources of this campaign. So how do women accept working for men without imposing themselves and imposing their presence on the political parties uh, in which they are represented in order to become uh, members uh, and uh, candidates uh, of these uh, electoral lists? Thank you. Dr. Khattar, what's your uh, comment?
I will uh, try to answer this group uh, uh, of uh, questions by saying the following. The cultural specificities uh, that we always speak about uh, is uh, in fact uh, raised only when we are trying to justify discrimination against women. This is a major point that should be taken into consideration. You spoke about uh, uh, transforming this energy into an energy in order to establish uh, a civil state. Uh, but these two concepts are um, complementary because civil states uh, are based on the same values and princi principles. I agree on the fact uh, that women uh, should be able to prepare for more coordination and support uh, between uh, women associations. Uh, uh, Your Excellency, I do not know where to start from. I want to answer you, sir, when you said that uh, uh, regarding your remark on the dress, it depends when uh, this remark uh, or this compliment is uh, given and when it is used and by whom. So it's not an issue of opposition between men and women. We, uh, both partners, should take advantage of this cooperation in order to invest it on the political, economic, and social level. This is what we are not doing yet. Uh, this is uh, the first step uh, to do in order to disseminate these ideas among parties. It is not uh, a lux uh, uh, or... Um, A secondary priority, it is uh, a top priority in order for us to be able uh, to support uh, major issues uh, since women represent uh, half of the society. When it comes to raising awareness, uh, we will not be able to work on that uh, level without being able to prove to men uh, that uh, we are a great uh, uh, supporters for the social uh, system. Uh, we are working on um, other priorities like building uh, or establishing a civil state, uh, but we are not uh, focusing on our efforts on uh, raising awareness. Thank you, Mrs. Fauzia. Last comment. Uh, my colleagues uh, answered all the questions. Uh, the um, ideology of uh, Arab men should change in order for him to be convinced of the fact uh, that women are equal to men. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, of course. And uh, since uh, uh, politics uh, means interests, and since we have common interests, as uh, Rea said, uh, between men and women. The report of Transparency International regarding corruption indexes uh, mentions uh, in the context of the analysis of countries that the less uh, corrupted countries are countries where uh, women are part of the uh, political decision-making process. Thank you very much. We thank uh, our excellent moderator. Thank you for your presence and for this uh, fruitful and rich uh, discussion. Will made of her an exceptional woman in order for her to be one of the founders of uh, NetWays and Forbes uh, 2000, uh, 200 Most Powerful Arab Women 2014. Uh, Mrs. Rula Musa, we give you the floor. Good morning, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, young participants, and dear and activist uh, Dr. May Shadiak. Uh, my intervention today is uh, focusing on the role of women in the business sector. Uh, my experience uh, made me 
be convinced of the fact uh, that women in the business sector should apply to the same conditions as uh, men. In all conferences I took part to, I have noticed that businessmen, when presenting their interventions, uh, always talk to an audience that they consider made um, of uh, men. So principles, uh, values, and missions that they talk about uh, are linked uh, to masculine specificities like uh, courage uh, and uh, competitiveness. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, these uh, societies, uh, uh, the Arab societies, do not link courage uh, and determination uh, to women. I have heard uh, this uh, characteristic uh, several times uh, during my uh, uh, lifetime, uh, and uh, people used to say this woman is اخترجيل uh, in Arabic, which means uh, equal to women or the brother, uh, uh, equal to men or the sister of men. Uh, so I think that we have to work on finding a new terminology and focusing on the idea that the women should learn how to be capable of adapting to four feelings, the first one being fear, the second face, the third um, um, humility, and the fourth one will be later on mentioned by me, and I hope that you will start to feel it before uh, I mention it in my intervention. In 1996, uh, with uh, the launching of the Internet Revolution, I have uh, decided as a uh, uh, fresh uh, graduate uh, to establish uh, a network uh, on the internet uh, that was uh, visited by few at the end of the 90s in Lebanon. So I was uh, fearing the unknown. I had no idea whether I will succeed or whether I would find the people uh, prepared to listening to the ideas of women rather than men. And uh, all of them told me to be logical, uh, they said, be logical, Rula. And they all uh, preferred uh, that I find uh, a job position in uh, a well-known institution. Uh, but uh, I refused and uh, continued to working on my uh, personal uh, determination. Uh, I also feared for the employees who will be part of my institution uh, since I was not aware of the possible success I may achieve. And in this context, I will share with you the uh, turning point in our professional experience. In 2002, a uh, conference uh, for e-government uh, was held uh, in Beirut uh, with the initiative of uh, a leader, a pioneer, and without knowing uh, he was the major supporter of our company. He launched a competition for the development of a website that would ensure e-services. At that time, the concept of e-government was new, but we have been able to win this competition and to win this $20,000 contract. We developed uh, a special website that was highly efficient for a period of 10 years, yet this contract was annulled and another contract has been chosen two years ago with a $2 million cost. Our main supporter was uh, Rafiq Hariri and we were able after this experience to become pioneers in e-government services uh, in the Arab region. And we became one of the major players in Qatar, uh, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and other countries. But to go back uh, to my text, uh, to the second feeling, uh, namely 
face. We spoke a lot uh, about faith. Uh, faith was stronger than fear. We had faith in discovering uh, new opportunities and achieving results in spite of challenges. Without faith, uh, the uh, company would have uh, stopped working after 2006 uh, during the Israeli attacks uh, and as well uh, when uh, work was completely suspended uh, in our offices uh, in Beirut, uh, but uh, it's through FACE that we could continue working. Uh, FACE is not an individual uh, feeling, it is a collective uh, feeling. In the Gulf countries, uh, we were uh, entering into a competitiveness with the very uh, with highly developed uh, international companies and institutions. Uh, it was a great challenge uh, that we overcome. We tried as much as possible to uh, promote the role of um, fresh graduates uh, and to convince them to work for their country. The Lebanese state uh, did not help us uh, uh, and uh, infrastructure, uh, the security environment and all other uh, details uh, did not encourage us, but we have been able, in spite of that, uh, to be competitive and successful in all other countries. As I said, faith is not individual. Faith uh, uh, is, in fact, a collective feeling uh, that can be passed on from a person to another. And we have been able to fund Lebanese associations for rural development in addition to a center for our uh, uh, firm in Akkar where we are trying to uh, promote job opportunities for Akkar people uh, without uh, pushing them uh, to this uh, internal immigration uh, to Beirut or Tripoli or other regions. Uh, who would have imagined that such challenges uh, would be won by a firm operating here in Lebanon and in Akkar. We think that these centers are centers of faith uh, in spite of uh, the lack of, of, of opportunities uh, in Akkar. And we think uh, that uh, these youth uh, in the future uh, will be able to generate a lot which will change uh, the situation in this uh, specific region. The third uh, feeling is uh, humility. The absence of uh, humility, in fact, uh, will uh, stop uh, any type of progress. Uh, and this is how we have been able to promote the role of several new pioneers who achieved success. Uh, and this is considered in itself uh, as a great achievement. I have uh, won several awards, uh, especially during the last years, uh, from LOA uh, to uh, the uh, Forbes uh, classification and others. Uh, but uh, I would only be happy when we uh, present uh, such type of awards uh, to new uh, players. In fact, uh, this experience that we had with fresh graduates and with young uh, individuals uh, have uh, affected me a lot. Uh, I will never forget how I have developed my abilities and I'm still working on finding new, more effective means in order to assist young people who are having the same um, and who are facing the same difficulties that I faced uh, in my youth. The Lebanese uh, International Business Council uh, is, in fact, a council uh, I elected uh, in order to preside it, and I hope that we will uh, be uh, capable of uh, establishing a successful network of uh, business people working to positively impact entrepreneurship business in Lebanon. Fear should not be present when one has faith, but at the core of this formula, 
the forced the force feeling should be there that can that is considered the foundation of this uh, basis it is love someone said that we should not lose uh, our womanship uh, this is to answer his command we should work on what we love on what we are passionate for in order to win fear by trust it is love who protects us from fear and who allows us to build trust and faith again when we know and when we love the true value of things i say to women with love you will be able to achieve success allow me to share with you a personal experience i have three daughters each of them has her personal dream not only in the business field and each will have her own path i will not take decisions on their behalf i just want them to choose what they love in order to succeed so what i mean is that each one of us has her own dream not only in politics and in business sectors so let's work on implementing our dreams through promoting the role of women in business sector uh, uh, we are trying as much as possible to uh, promote uh, the role of women uh, uh, and uh, to facilitate their access uh, to the leading positions through uh, um, speech uh, that uh, focuses uh, on these uh, values. I hope that my intervention will be the first step uh, for us uh, to find uh, this new terminology, this new uh, speech uh, that will give us uh, as uh, women uh, a new uh, foundation grounds, a new culture, a new ideology, and a new uh, terminology to promote the role of women. If I was asked uh, to choose uh, one term uh, I would choose uh, overcome we as a society and as women have to overcome the challenges uh, through our efforts in the business sector in order to uh, promote a productive language and speech in order to empower women and we will be speaking later on uh, using this language about successful stories uh, for women. At the end of my intervention, I would like to thank uh, May Shidiak for her invitation. Dr. May Shidiak, uh, thank you for your attention.